Design, production and materials, dance, intertwined. Uh, it's a new approach for marketeers. It's a new approach for us to understand. Why is this little astronaut so happy? We are the storytellers. That's where we come in. You get in the hang of it. Well, since the moment I was uh, a young boy and I could hold a pencil, I would start sketching ships, sailing yards. And I thought, uh, looking at this beautiful picture of, of a clipper ship, uh, I kept dreaming about designing, about building them. Oh, that goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I think these ships are beautiful, and sailing ships are as well, but they can also be really big consumers. Uh, for instance, an 80 meter super yacht consumes easily as much as about 100 households. And that was still not moving. So when they start moving, they, they actually produce or they consume a lot more. And if you look at other means of transportation, you can see that they consume a lot of fuel. And we know that fuel is, is burning fuel is about 90% of, of the, uh, the environmental impact of, of, of a ship. So we know fuel, fossil fuel is running out and uh, we need to be, be careful what we do. And we know that the car industry is moving towards uh, more efficient electric cars. We know that uh, the, the, the aviation is experimenting with alternative fuels. But what do we do, the marine industry? And sure, there are changes towards a uh, more sustainable industry. Um, we are looking into hull shapes that are more efficient, uh, propellers that are more efficient. Um, the IMO introduced an energy efficiency index. Uh, but we also see that the yachts are getting bigger. And we've got bigger engines, we've got bigger stabilizers, we've got more holes in the hull and more toys in the water. Bigger is better, it seems. And bigger also means more fuel consumption. So we just said, well, we're running out of fossil fuel. And, and besides, what are we doing with the, with the climate change? And the climate agreement in Paris states that for 2050, we want to be sure that all energy is, is produced using sustainable sources. I think it's time to open up for alternatives, to, to look to be creative with innovations and get rid of the conservative thinking. Um, it is possible to build a super yacht that does not need any fossil fuel to perform the way a client wants it to. This is Black Pearl on her sailing trials on the North Sea and she does not have a main engine running, she doesn't have a generator running, she doesn't consume any fuel, zero emission. So how is that possible? Well, she uses wind energy, she's a sailing boat. But on Black Pearl it's really easy to use that wind energy because she has an advanced and automated rig 2,800 square meters, over 15 sails. One person can set or fill all those sails in just six minutes. She has propellers, but those propellers are not there to propel the ship. No, those propellers are there to generate energy while sailing. She can already generate enough energy to run the whole boat when it's blowing around 16 knots. We also work on solar sails, so that are flexible solar panels that are merged into the sail cloth. And with those 2,800 square meters of sail area, that helps a lot. The yacht as well, you have to store, of course, the power. So the yacht has a large lithium-ion battery bank. And uh, there we all generate energy is all stored in that bank. And it has enough capacity to actually make the boat completely electric propulsed. So she motors, when she does have the motor, she motors in and out of port, fully electric. Soon, Black Pearl will cross the Atlantic Ocean, and there she will show that during such a crossing, she can do that without one single drop of fuel. We also developed software to take the best route and to make the most use of the wind. So back to the Netherlands. The Netherlands was once a trend-setting country. And in our golden age, the 17th century, we were the country with probably the most ships. We uh, had the East Indian Trading Company, and that was founded, and trade was really successful. 
And I think we can be trendsetters again. I think there are opportunities for designers and for builders of ships, and the whole world has to change to non-CO2, to non-fossil fuel. So we have the knowledge, we have the possibilities, so where's the will? So perhaps you are thinking, well, that's, that's difficult, eh? making, a, making a, a transition from a conservative shipbuilding to, a, to an innovative shipbuilding. I would rather ask, is it possible? And I know the answer, it's yes. So let's make it possible. So as a young boy, I was dreaming about the future in shipping, and not as a young boy anymore, but now I dream about clean shipping. Zero emission. I know it's possible, and I hope it happens, and I hope it happens way before 2050. Consider clean shipping, clean shipping not as a problem, but as a challenge. As the most famous captain of another Black Pearl, Captain Jack Sparrow once said, the problem is not the problem, he probably said it differently, but the problem is your attitude about the problem. So to, to finalize, I call on, on all of you, actually, <coughs> To make sure that this sign, no smoking, is actually not a command for everybody, but it is a statement. And I wish everybody, a designer, builder or sailor, an innovative green future. Thank you.